Establishing shot, fade in from this. Welcome back to Hopper's Hot Rods. As you may have guessed by the vehicle behind me, today's episode is going to be concentrating solely on camping and the equipment thereof. What does hot rodding have to do with camping, you may ask? Oh, this, this is dangerous. Way too much for a camping knife. So that's perfect, as they would say over at Vice Grip Garage. Way too much. Perfect. So, I don't want to brag, but I'm going to. Turns out I have single-handedly rendered Hopper's Hot Rods into, unintentionally, a nonprofit organization. It just doesn't ever make any money. That's okay, that's fine, who needs money? So, in preparation for the inevitability or strong probability of homelessness slash camping we might be doing in the future, we're going to do a little preparation for camping. So, I've got some gear and today's video is gonna be a rundown of the gear I have and make a list of the gear that I need to get and then we'll do a trial run, you know, maybe out of necessity, but we're gonna do a trial run. It'll be fun. Cue the music if you, uh, I, I'm, it's always just me, I don't know. It's not really just about camping. The uh, initial experiment is going to be van camping or truck camping, as you might, car camping. But with the transition to motorcycle camping in mind, because one of my clients has a motorcycle, it's sort of an adventure bike. You might have seen it in the back of the shop. And we're going to build some multi use camping customization for this thing. Uh, we've got a couple of ideas that are kind of interesting. Uh, there's some things he wants. There's some things I've come up with and uh, it'll be fun to, to do that. So we're gonna go through a basic set of gear. I have very little experience with camping, meaning I think I did it once when I was 13. So, well, fortunately, there's a ton of uh, people on YouTube with videos telling me exactly what I need for my basic first camping experience. So we're going to go through the basics. We're going to make our own list. We're going to decide what's important to us. Um, because we're going to be in a van, the tent is not as critical as it will be when we do the motorcycle. That said, I have a pretty cool tent here for the motorcycle and I'll lay it out. Okay, checking the microphone. Check, check, check. <laughs> checking it out over here. <laughs> mic check, mic Mr. check. Mr. Microphone. Hey, good looking. We'll be back to pick you up later. <laughs> I'm trying out a microphone. So, it's not a Tuma. Here's the tent. And it is in a bag that says one tigress. Now, one tigress 
doesn't put what kind of tent it is on their packaging. It is a an irritant shared by other reviewers of products. But we got the pegs. We have the uh, the upright poles. We have a ground sheet, also known as a tarp. These are available at your local Walmart. It's a one tigress baker's style tent and uh, it's big enough for about four people, but it's gonna be for solo motorcycle camping, all your gear. And it has an awning and it's called a baker's tent and it's got this extra porch. You could use the motorcycle as part of the support and it, the motorcycle becomes the front. So it, you could take the, anyway, so sun won't be on the motorcycle or rain. So rain won't get on the motorcycle and it will, you can use the, I'll have to show you. That's the tent. Now on to the other camping gear. Never had one lesson. All right, the gear, that's right, we're rolling, okay. Let's roll on with the gear. First thing we need to concern ourselves with is comfort. So, in this navy blue overnight case, a chip clip. We'll put that with the kitchen utensils. I'm not kidding, you might need a chip clip. We got some neat stuff. This is the, the Nemo Tensor Insulated Sleeping Pad. It doesn't weigh much, it doesn't take up much space, and uh, it's reviewed to be quite comfortable. We will find out. We also have the Hike Insure Ultra Light Pillow. Another well-reviewed product, not expensive. So we have our pad, we have our pillow. Look how compact all that is. And we have what appears to be a quilt. Now, because it's already summertime as of the recording of this, one light down quilt will probably do just fine. This thing's insulated. We will probably put some sort of sheet, again, because it's van camping, uh, and maybe even with the motorcycle camping, and uh, we'll just see how this does, and we will pick up warmer gear if need be. So this is all uh, okay. What it might end up being is the air mattress from Walmart. Because as nice as this little thing is, it may suck for trying to sleep on it. We don't know, we'll find out. But we have this as a backup. This is not expensive. In addition to our bed comfort for seating, I know it's a van, there's already chairs in it, but if you wanna sit out in the wilderness and enjoy the outdoors, again, this is gonna be for the motorcycle camping. We're going to have this really nifty collapsible um, chair. We'll set it up when we actually uh, get someplace. Pretty neat though. It's got uh, big rubber feet. Sometimes you need a big rubber. Don't put that in there. Oh yeah, you've got this figured out, don't you? Got it. I beg your pardon. We've got water. In fact, I'm quite thirsty now. It's from Tennessee. We'll find out how moisture resistant this microphone is. I just totally uh, engulfed it with got a bit of a drinking problem. It goes all over me. All right, cool little camp stuff. 
Now this knife, I did select it for motorcycle camping. I know it's no kind of bushcraft knife. It's a Japanese inspired Tonto blade. It's too big for a camp knife, but it's a good value. It's a strong knife. I'm not gonna be whittling a longbow or carving a moose, uh, but you need a knife. We'll play with this at camp. I've got some cool stuff I wanna make. I'd like to, we'll play with it. Now I got this to treat the tent. You spray this on your boots, you spray it on your tent. You don't need spiders in your tent. I, I'm not a big fan of chemicals. You know, I like to be all natural, but what are you gonna do? So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna prep the tent by spraying it with the stuff that you're supposed to spray it with. We will watch it dry, that'd be great. I've been looking for this. Where the hell have you been? I wondered where that was. Now this is a handy thing for motorcycles in general. Um, it's one of these little jump starters, but it's also a great USB recharger for phones. Um, handy to have portable power when you're camping. We got another backup battery. We've got a solar powered backup battery. We probably have too many batteries. Bug spray, lantern light slash I don't know where this thing came from, but it's so cool. It's also a water bottle. So you, it's, a, uh, it's a light, but it's also a water bottle that you can uh, use and, and it glows in the dark. So you can use just the light. You can make a lantern. It's got a it's solar charger. I don't know where this thing came from, but how cool is that? Oh, and it's, you can recharge a phone from it. So it's incredibly versatile. I, Wish I knew where it came from, it's awesome. We've got a cooking system, the jet boil. We've got cooking fuel. We've got a multi-tool. Dude wipes. Hey. LED lights, you'll see those are really neat. And if you're out camping and you have to dig what they call a cat hole, Check out this thing. It's like a tactical poop trowel. It's got saw teeth on it and sharp edges and paracord for digging a hole to take poop in. But you might as well look cool. Frying pan, handle for the frying pan. That's the bulk of the gear so far. We need to probably go ahead and get a little first aid kit. Uh, I wouldn't mind one of these little collapsible tables and some mosquito netting. I've got a little list we're gonna make up. I got nothing. <clears throat> we'll decide what kind of little meals we're going to make. Um, hey, there's a hatchet we can use. Check it out. All right, we now have a camping hatchet. This was stuck in the wall over there. All right. All right, that's it for this video. We'll get more into this whole camping thing as we move along. We'll lay out our cook set. We'll set up our camp and come up with clever ideas. Maybe we'll just camp in parking garages. As always, thank you for watching. I'm gonna check this microphone out and see if there's any difference in how it's up.